Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Stranger Cass, and today we're back for more Stardew Valley. It's been a little bit since I played this, but I'm really excited to get back into it. And I think I have come to the decision that we're going to try for Shane. We were kind of leaning towards that in the last episode, but I'm, I'm really thinking that we'll try for him. And then if we do another playthrough, we can go for someone else. So let's just hop into the game. Okay, so I actually had like a notebook that I had beside me playing this game that I would kind of keep notes and be like, okay, this is what I want to do. This is what I haven't done yet. And I lost it. I don't know where it is. I've organized my room. I cleaned it up and everything. And I just, I just don't know where it is. So, uh, what was it that he liked? He liked peppers, right? Right. We're going to go ahead and continue uh, trying to get the friendship with all of them. Whoops. How do I? There we go. It did not want to take. Okay. How is the country life going for you? It's been lonely here without you, but I'm proud of what you're doing. Love, Dad. P.S. Found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. That's nice. Oh, oh, more. Remember to eat healthy or you won't have enough energy to work hard. I'm including one of my favorite recipes. Make sure to use ripe tomatoes. Spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Oh, I guess we should check the weather, shouldn't we? Welcome to KOZV5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Once we get hearts up with all the guys, I'm going to start working on other characters because I do... I want to see all the cutscenes, okay? I want to see them all. Let's see, Sam might still be in bed. I think I got to go at 12 to find Sebastian. No, I don't want to eat the pepper. Here, just do that. Hi, Sam. Oh, I forgot to grab you cold. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh. I always love just coming across these cutscenes. Oh, hi. Um, it's cats, right? I've given you how many gifts and you're not even sure of my name? <sighs> I'm just enjoying this great weather, cats. Hmm. Hey, go long. Oh. I'm not I'm not good at catching. <laughs> and neither is in gaming. Eh, nice try. We just leave the ball there. I'm going to be the first professional grid ball player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. You just wait. That's nice. Wow, you're really arrogant. Uh, I believe in you. Thanks, Cass. I'll remember that. Guess I could check over here and make sure there's nothing to collect. Oh, there's a few things to collect. Let me take that. I keep trying to grab and run instead of just stopping and grabbing. Okay. And there is a few things, but not a whole lot. Oh, 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 oh. Did I miss my chance to see some... Oh, no, wait. I could go in Sebastian's room. So it's okay. Well, there went Marnie, but I'm not going back for her. I'm going to go see Sebastian. Oh. Another cutscene. Oh, hey, give me a sec. Stay put. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. Compliment the decor of his room. Which, I mean, it's cool, but I want to know what he's working on. Is it a game? I do freelance work as a programmer. Oh, that's cool. 
That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Ugh, I don't really feel like going out today. Oh, hi, cats. Subby, I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Did you tell her I'm working? I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. <sighs> no one takes my job seriously. No one no one ever bothers Mari when she's working at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? They probably do. <laughs> uh oh, which one should I ask? Uh he, let's find out about his career goals. Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here, probably to the city or something. You know, if I'd gone to college, I'd probably be making six figures right now. But I just don't want to be part of that corporate rat race, you know? Well, and I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind a computer than dealing with people face to face. I totally get that. <laughs> well, I should get back to work. I need to get this model finished by tomorrow but I have gift for you oh hi hey everyone is so happy in this sun I don't get it what was I going to give you the quartz duh here Thanks, I like this. I know. I got you a gift. I know you won't talk to me right now, but I got you a gift. Oh, well, Kaz, how'd you know this is my favorite? I'm coming for you. And that's it. The Shaloon. Oh, hi, Shane. Now I can talk to you. Hey, sorry if I came off as rude when we first met. It takes me a while to warm up to strangers. Yep, you said that before. Is Harvey going to be here? I don't want to just hang around if he's not. But also, I don't want to miss him. Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Ooh. Do we get something for Willie for his birthday? I think I could probably give him a fish, right? Harvey! Where are you? I could go fishing in the lake for a little bit. No Harvey. I see his Clint. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. My father was also a blacksmith. My grandfather was a blacksmith as well. And my great-grandfather. Cool. I'm gonna go. Bye. Look at all the money we made. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. So, both today and tomorrow is going to be nice, bright, and sunny. This recipe of mine won first place at a cooking competition. I hope you like it. Thanks for being a friend. Fried calamari. Cool. <gasps> They're both grown up. Can I like hand feed them? No. Okay, that's disappointing. Ducky looks really happy. Twixie looks really happy. How do I get hearts with them? I'm still very confused about that. Harvey, please be in your office. Oh! <sighs> How am I going to reach that letter in the back? I'll help. Or Penny will. Here, let me help you, Mr. Mourner. Well, I saw a little puppy eyes pick it out of that dog house. There you go. Hmm. I could have done it myself, and I can certainly move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? She's just trying to be nice. Cats who are watching us? 
Uh, I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. I was. You should have asked instead of assuming George wanted help. I'm just taking a walk about my own business. You did a kind thing, Penny. Thank you. I just wish George wasn't so upset. I was only trying to help. <sighs> no, no, I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. It was actually very kind of you to help me out. That's okay, Mr. Molner. I understand. Poor George. It must be difficult to grow old. I'd rather die young. That's why we should respect our elders. It's just a different part of life. I'd rather not think about it. Uh... Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. When you're old, you want to be respected. So we should respect our elders. That's nice of you to say. I totally agree with you. We should treat our elders with the same respect we hope to receive ourselves someday. Well, it was interesting talking to you, cats. I should go. Bye! <laughs> Okay, Harvey, please tell me you're in the office. And then maybe we should go see George. Hi, Mario. Sebastian is my half-brother, if you didn't know already. I didn't know. You told me before. But thanks for the info. Harvey! <laughs> yes! Okay, let's give you this. That's such a nice gift. Thank you. Bye! <laughs> Could do some fishing, I guess. I don't really know what else to do with this day. Like, I kind of just want to see, like, uh, Moonlight of the Jellies or something like, whatever that is. Which I might not even be able to do in this video. I don't know. No! I hate that! More Jojo Cola! <laughs> Why did I buy some from Jojo Mart again? Yeah, more Jojo Cola. <laughs> I have so much Jojo Cola! Sam has set up for a while. I now have 10 Jojo Cola. I bought five and gave one away. I earned six Jojo Cola just from fishing. <laughs> Guther can tell you more about this item if you donate it to the museum. Do I want to donate that? 900 from farming, 2,000 from foraging, 80 from fishing. I love how they're showing an image of the driftwood, the one thing that didn't give me money. Uh, <laughs> So we earned 3,100 gold. Whereas that's a wall of collecting, but... I mean, that's... I'm pretty happy with that. Queen of Saws, do you have any new recipes for me? Coleslaw envisioning bland mounds of limp cabbage? You're not alone, but a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. Ah, that's crisp. You've learned how to cook coleslaw. Cool, a new recipe. I do hope you will fully grow before the end of summer. You will, right? <laughs> hey, Fawn Girl, I've got a question for you. Hey, when I turn pro, you can say you were my first fan. Not bad, huh? Woohoo. Do you like copper? Yo, this is a key. Okay. I tried. Happy birthday, Willie. I got something for you. Oh, a birthday gift? Thank you. Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. Hello. I'm just here to make sure all Marty's business needs are met. Uh-huh. Sure. I believe that. Oh, I just... <gasps> ah, brown chicken! Yes! Okay. Oh, stars. I wasn't actually going to buy a chicken, but uh, a brown chicken? Yes. Yes, please. I so badly want one. Okay. What are we going to name this chicken? We got Trixie. We got Ducky. We got 
Foxy. I'm going to name this one Dixie. I think Dixie. Not to be confused with Ditsy. <laughs> Ditsy Dixie. Ugh. Great, I'll send a little Dixie to her new home right away. Yay! Can I get another one? It's only 800. Yeah, let's get another one. Ah, it's another brown one, yes! I was actually thinking Pixie. <laughs> uh, I think this is a little bit cuter. So we'll go with Pixie. Great, I'll send a little Pixie to our new home right away. Uh, you can use the site to cut feed from grass. Oh, really? Or you could buy it from me, of course. I'd prefer not to. I could use the cash. I could too. Adios. I just spent 1600 in post buying chickens. It's fine. I hadn't been checking for crates. I probably should do that. I don't know how often they appear. Oh, I could also follow along for these. Pets. 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 Pixie seems curious, but a little cautious. She's getting used to her new home. Dixie seems curious, but a little cautious. Same thing. So I gave them all the pets. The train is passing through Stardew Valley. Interesting. What does that mean? Is there any reason for that? I feel like there's got to be a reason, right? You know who we haven't seen in a bit? The Wiz. Maybe we should go see him. Okay, I thought there was a faster way to go visit him, but I can't remember. So, the long way we go. Because I do want to see the wizard. Okay, we did give two ghosts to everyone that we're focusing on. So, that's good. It takes years of study to understand the language of the elementals. To actually speak their language requires a lifetime of devoted effort. Now, if you'll excuse me. Want a sweet pea? Many thinks this item has some very interesting properties. Okay, bye. Sell a couple of these. That way we can get some money. It's not going to be as much as it was last night. But we'll get something. And is it... No, it's this one. Um, Prehistoric rib. I think I want to go to the museum and see if either of these are there. I'm pretty sure this one isn't. Uh, but I think this one is. And if it is, we can sell that. Day 24 is summer. We got almost 300 in farming. We got 100 in foraging. Almost, just a little short of 600 in fishing. So we got uh, like almost 1,000 gold. So that's not too bad. Uh, honestly, I didn't think I was even going to get that much, so... Hi guys, a uh, pets. Pets, pets, pets. Let me go ahead and, since you are out, I want to make sure I have you guys fed. I see you little wigglies down there. I'm gonna get you. Oops. Got another totem. Still don't know what it does though. My knee's acting up again, and you know what helps? Rubbing the darn thing with hot pepper. Trouble is, my supplies run dry. If you got some... If you got one to spare, I'd be much obliged. George. I have that. I have that. I could do that for you. I'd like to put iron bar on my shelf. I don't have iron. Oh, a cutscene! Can I play with her? I'd love that. Cats? You scared me sneaking into my room like that. Uh, so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours and I can't even beat the first level. This game is so ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. I'd love to! Yes. I mean, 
I'm terrible at most games, so I'm not saying I can help, but Oh no, I actually have to play. How do I shoot? I don't even know. What am I doing? I don't know. Oh. <gasps> Arrow keys. I should probably watch for that. What are you? Where are you? Oh, you're at the bottom. Okay. I thought I was on my own. I was like really upset about that. <laughs> cool. Yeah, let's do this. Ah! I was scared to get that one. Ah! Okay. All right. Uh, halfway! Ah, ha, ha. No! Although, this is a whole lot easier with help. What? Why am I a zombie? What was that? Ah, get them, get them, get them, get them! Ah! What do you mean? Ah! Okay, okay. We did it? Did we? We actually did it? We did it! <laughs> I honestly thought I was going to die and just lose. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Okay. Hey, that was fun. Thanks, cats. I didn't think you knew how to work a joystick so well, but it seems you're experienced. I'm experienced, but not good at it. <laughs> that was fun. I loved that. Hello. Everyone's enjoying the weather instead of shopping. Uh, well, you're only selling summer stuff pretty much right now, and that's not what I need. Probably most people are like me. They don't want to buy summer stuff at the end of summer. David the guinea pig. We can kind of sort of see David. If I knew how to use a sword, I would be exploring this cage by the mountain lake right now. It's probably nice and cool there. So I can't do this first. So I'll try and sell that and see what I get. Cool. Which we got? Collect. Night on Eco Hill can be placed inside your house. Okay, that's cool. Hello. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. You're not as boring as most grown ups. Uh, that's good. <laughs> Dad was telling me about our national enemy, the Gotoro Empire. They sound like a ruthless bunch. Oh, I forgot to give George his pepper. I need to do that. Ah. Can't talk right now, miss. My favorite program is on. But I have your pepper. You want you want that? Hmm? Took you long enough. Hmm. Well, it's good and spicy at least. Thanks. Cool. 200 gold. Uh, I need some copper bars. Uh, to do the watering can update. And I go to the blacksmith for that. So, we're going to work on that. Day 25 of summer. We earned 124 from farming and 25 from the Rusty Spur. Okay, the Rusty Spur didn't give as much as I hoped. Okay, so I want my watering can to be updated for the fall. And I want to get these geodes checked out. I don't think rainy days are good days for foraging either. So, I'm not really going to look for anything. Hello, I got things for you. Okay, process my geodes first. Thanks. 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 Uh, I want to upgrade my watering can. Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready for in a couple of days. You took my water can away. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm still working on your copper watering can. It won't be ready for today. 
Uh, I was hoping you could work on my sword while you were at it. Wait, that took 2,000 gold? <gasps> You're taking my watering can and I don't know if it's going to rain tomorrow. <laughs> it ain't took 2,000 gold. I should really check for the price before I just... Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to fish for the rest of the day. Maybe look for some things to sell to kind of help make up for all the money I just spent. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you in game Saturday. Yeah, we did get a good amount of money. Just nothing from fishing. Which is what we did the majority of the end game day. <laughs> the whole purpose of growing extra melons was so we could sell them. So I'm just going to keep the these. And then I'll sell the silver starred ones. I don't think I tried giving the wizard an amethyst. That might be interesting to see. So let's go visit the wizard and give him a gift. Hello. Beware, you are standing above a potent magical field. I built my hut right here on purpose, you know. I got a gift. Do you like it? Many things. This item has some very interesting properties. Does that mean you like it? Select gifts. He likes the sweet pea, which we know, and he likes amethyst. Joja Cola! <laughs> Whoops. Did not mean to gift him that. I was going to say that for Sam. Sorry, Lewis. This makes me sick. What a horrendous gift. Do you like copper? <laughs> or stone? I just wanted to talk to you. I didn't mean to get that to you. Sorry. Everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, don't you think? I'm on the job seven days a week, though. I haven't talked to Linus at all in this video. Maybe we should go find him. Oh, oh my god, wait. I forgot how to get out there. <laughs> oh, jeez. She's making a move, isn't she? You can't miss tomorrow's festival. It's one of the most beautiful wonders of the valley. I'm super excited about it. Um, what did we just pick up? <laughs> Anus, are you home? No. I didn't grab a gift for you. I'm sorry. Unless you want this. <laughs> I'm happy by myself, you know? I don't need new friends. But new friends are nice. I got a skull for you. You want it? Put it next to the rib. Okay. Rewards? Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate. <laughs> I just donated a whole skull. You're like, you don't get anything for that? Sweet. I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. I want to water keeps my house a little bit cooler in summer. Hmm. If the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop stock. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Level 5 in farming. Choose a profession. I could be either a rancher or a tiller. Animal products are worth 20% more if you're a rancher. And then the crops are worth 10% more if you're a tiller. I feel like right now it would be better to do tiller. I do kind of like the idea of being a rancher, though. But I don't know how well that's going to be. I'm thinking maybe a tiller. I want to be a rancher. That's what I want to be. But I think tiller is going to help us get more money. Oh, wow. I got 3,000 gold just from farming. I thought I didn't sell that much. Okay, okay. 
The balance are worth a lot. Twenty one hundred of that is just the seven silver starred melons I sold. Wow, <laughs> melons are amazing. We did get four hundred from fortune, two hundred from fishing, because I got like what a halibut. Oh, okay, I sold two. We are just a little short of four. Thousand gold just from that. Man, I should have planted more melons. <laughs> I got ten thousand gold. I must resist the urge to buy things because tomorrow's the first day of fall, and I need to spend that on seed, which will give us more money. Oh, hi, Demetrius. <laughs> Hi cats, I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on a local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species, that way I can serve them in a more controlled environment, and you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. But is it fruit that I can already get? Or is this a unique fruit? And if I want mushrooms, how do I get mushrooms? If I knew this was unique fruits, then I would go with the bats. But... One, I don't know if I have to fight any bats. Two, I'm thinking the fruit is going to be mostly stuff that I can already get or already have. <laughs> um, and I don't know of any other ways to get mushrooms. So I think we're going to go with mushrooms. All right, I'll go set it up for you right now. We shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. Well, it seems like it's going to be profitable for me and good for your research. So win, win. Tonight at... Around 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The moonlight jellies will be passing by a Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight, Demetrius. You could have just told me that while you were here since you just left. Uh, is there going to be anything different in the cave now? Oh, that is a shell I want. Oh, there is definitely something different. I guess there's our planters for the mushrooms. Thank you. I've never seen a Nautilus shell on here before, so I'm happy about that. Kind of tempted to sell this shell. But it is an ancient, an ancient shell? Is that something I could give to the museum? Look at all the butterflies. I love that. It's so hot in here. You want the place. And you can turn off the air conditioning. That's some funky looking wallpaper and floor. I kind of wonder what that looks like. Definitely won't be buying any seeds because it is the last day of summer. So, as my watering can. Yay! We have it! We received a copper watering can, so I will have it the first day of fall. Perfect. Although, we do have to buy some seeds for that. So, it is now 10 10 p.m. And I have done a bunch of fishing while waiting. I talked to several people that I did fishing. And we got three bream, rainbow trout, choja cola, trash, broken glasses, and green algae. Considering uh, luck is not on my side today, I think I did pretty good. And especially for such a little short time period. I'm not upset with that. So I could give... Sam and Judah Cola. I might not be able to now. 
Look at the candles. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. I can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. I should have brought my camera. I always forget. These candles are romantic, aren't they? Make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your pulse seeds. Of course I will. I definitely, definitely will. Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. Okay. Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. I want to see the rare green jelly. I wonder if they're poisonous. Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Such a rare and exciting thing. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Just trying to scare you. You sure you're not scared yourself? The jellies were here a year ago and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. Oh, there are babies this year. <laughs> Look at the little boat. Good evening, cats. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the cat... Once we... Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Not yet. Let me talk to everyone first. Most night fish should be scared of the light. These are strange ones. There, I just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. They'll be back. Don't worry. Look out there at the end of the sea, deep underwater. All kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. All right, I think I talked to everyone. Let's go. I want to see these glowing jellyfish. It's so dark now. What happened to the other lights? There's a couple. One's off screen though. Oh, there they are. Sam, do not push Sebastian. <laughs> mm, I think that that one's getting a little dangerously close to the beach. Oh, I think there's uh, Jazz's babies. Or was it Gus? One of them wanted babies. Oh, there's a green one. Uh, he did say he wanted to see the green, the rare green one this year. There he is. Looks like he's saying hi to me. Maybe Gus sees him. <laughs> The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Well, that was cool. But it's time for bed, and next episode we'll be waking up to the first day of fall. Level 4 fishing. We got a fishing rod proficiency and a recycling machine. 900 from farming, 200 from foraging, only 90 from fishing. And 24 other things. So 1,200. That's not bad. Day one of fall. If you guys have made it this far into the video, then you must like something. Whether it's stir do or if you liked my personality, make sure you leave a like so I know that you made it this far. 
And if you guys like this kind of content and you like me, make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and don't be a stranger because I'll see you later. Bye!